In the last video, we looked at long-term contracts and essentially how to recognize revenue uh, depending on whether we're using IFRS standards or private enterprise gap. And the, some of the methods that we went over were the uh, percentage of completion method, which is the basis for this tutorial, cost recovery method, and completed contracts. So um, if you haven't got a general idea as to what these different methods are, you might just want to go back one video and watch that. But in this video, we're going to be just talking simply about the percentage of completion method, go through a problem, and kind of deconstruct how to figure out how much revenue to recognize and how much gross profit to recognize. So I've talked a lot, so let's get to actually solving this problem. So on the left hand side, I've got this condo that I've drawn with a nice little garden up on top and a balcony kind of boxing it in to make sure our tenants don't fall off. And we know that we're going to be, or the contract, of the condominium is $9 million, and the following is the cost data. As you can see, the $9 million is the contract price. It's not $9 million a year, just $9 million um, for the entire project. I've just posted it for each year. Um, right below it are the costs that are incurred in each period, which is pretty straightforward. And then below it are the estimated costs that will most likely be uh, incurred, so the estimated costs to go. And as you might see, the estimates will sometimes change, of course, because they are just estimates. Like for instance, um, in this scenario, 2014, we estimated that there's 4 million of costs left. But in 2015, we have 2.2 million costs that we've incurred, and then there's 1.9 million to go. So that's 4.1 million um, actual cost. So our estimate just changed by 100,000 over the last year. Um, and we don't have to worry about it as long as there are no losses. In some uh, situations, we might have to make adjustments uh, in our journal entries if there are losses. Um, so let's go through the template, which I find very simple, and usually students find it pretty simple to follow along. Uh, it's right over here. And it is going to have, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of fill this out as we go. So our contract price is $9 million. And that's going to be the same for each year. The costs incurred in this period, we know are $2,580,000. So I'm going to throw that up there. Our costs to date are or actually not zero, it's 2.58 million. And estimated costs to go are 4 million, as shown on the left-hand side over there. Um, so total estimated costs are 6, 6 million 580,000 dollars and if you remember the percentage of completion method uh, we we figure out how much revenue to recognize uh, basically depending on how much of the project is complete and we figure out how much of the project is complete by uh, dividing our our cost to date divided by our total estimated costs so two million five hundred and eighty thousand divided by six million five hundred and eighty thousand that's going to be thirty nine point two percent of the job is finished so we've just found out the percentage of the job that's complete on a cost by cost basis so we're going to now recognize the revenue um, based on the percentage of the job that's complete so we match our revenues with our expenses so thirty nine point two percent multiplied by nine million will give us uh, three million five hundred and eighty two thousand uh, and it will our revenues from the previous year are zero because we've just started this contract and we basically began construction and the revenue for this year is three million five hundred eighty two thousand as well and you might be wondering why I have this extra step here and it's because in later years it might get a little bit more confusing and you'll see that the template kind of uh, keeps everything fairly simple so gross profit to date, how are we going to figure that out? Uh, gross profit is revenue 
minus costs. So we have revenue to date, which is 3.582 million, and costs to date, which are 2.58 million. So that means we're going to have one million two thousand dollars worth of gross profit and of course gross profit in the previous year is zero so our gross profit this year is the same one point zero zero two million dollars so we've just finished that year and since I do have the problem solved in advance I'm just going to fill out the rest uh, so that you kind of make sure you get up this entire idea and concept down uh, costs incurred in the period are 2.2 million so I'll add that there uh, cost to date are 2.2 million plus 2.58 million which is going to be four million seven hundred and eighty thousand and then the cost to go are one million nine hundred thousand which we got from uh, our table to the left and then our total estimated cost will be six million six hundred and eighty thousand which will give us a percentage of seventy one point six percent and then we multiply seventy one point six percent by nine million and that gives us six million four hundred and forty four thousand revenue from the previous year is three five eight two as you can see right over here and then you just subtract revenue to date minus the revenue from the previous year or from the previous years and that will give you the revenue for this year so that would be two million eight hundred and sixty two thousand and that's how much revenue you would report in 2015 as for the gross profit to date again we take the revenue to date and we subtract the cost to date. So 6,444,000 divided by, or not divided by, subtract um, 4,780,000, which is going to be, which is going to be 1,664,000. And the gross profit for the previous year is 1,002,000. And so the gross profit that will be recognized is 662,000. And finally, for the last part, um, it'll be 9 million again for the contract price. We have 1,700,000 uh, costs incurred in this period. Costs to date is going to be 6,480,000. Estimated to go while well, our contract is finished, so we're done. Till estimated costs are uh, six million four hundred and eighty thousand. Hundred percent of the job is complete, which means our revenue to date is all of the revenue, which should make sense. Uh, subtract the revenue from last year, and we get the revenue for this year, which is two million five hundred and fifty-six thousand and then our gross profit to date is nine million subtract six million four hundred and eighty thousand which is two million five hundred and twenty thousand sorry if this is gonna bit crammed in here and the numbers are all kind of blurring into each other um, and then we subtract the gross profit from the year before and our gross profit for the a uh, year of 2016 will be 856,000. So basically in this tutorial we figured out our gross profit for each year and our revenues for each year. And the reason why this is helpful is we'll be able to now uh, report the journal entries for each year which we'll look at in the next tutorial since this one has gone on for long enough. Um, hopefully there's no issues with my math in this tutorial. Uh, but if there are, just put a comment and I'll edit the annotation and post up uh, the edited solution. All right, see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any of the material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate. You can like us on Facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.